All right. Episode two of this guy's Galactic New Horizons. Okay, so in the previous episode, I was basically having this issue with uh, maintaining food. Now, I was going to go around uh, gathering food items. I got plenty of herb seeds. Herb, herb seeds from that, the uh, from Pam Harvest Crafts. But yeah, food is definitely a big issue because I actually came across two times where I was quick, quickly running into a situation where I was nearly or about ready to starve to death. So, in this episode here, food. Make every day about food here. So I got the hoe. I'll grab all the dirt. Uh, we got about... Okay, so we burnt through a quarter of the day already. So, I'm about to get to the punch and get things going. So, as I mentioned before, the river does have... There's a river nearby. The reason why I'm going through a river is because, one, I ain't got any buckets. And even if I had any buckets, infinite water is disabled in this pack. So, I can just go and harvest many water blocks, which is possible. But I'll be dealing with the problem of having no water being replenished there. I don't think I've even got the tropical gardens yet. No, I don't. Alright, so time to do a little bit of some old terraforming. I'm just going for a moment just get as much of these blocks placed down as I can. In the future though, I will want to produce a more organized farm. But this is going to have to do for now until I uh, am able to get the ability to establish better infrastructure. I'm also seeing a batch of gravel, and that looks mighty attractive, especially considering I'm starting to run low on flint. Alright. Time to get on killing. Before I do that though, the whole point of this is to get a farm going the sooner the better. So there's a stock garden. Not bad. And there's the textile garden. Figure it's going to be a bunch of cotton. Yep. Cotton. So we got the herbs. Gourd. Let's see, there's potatoes and stuff in here. Check the jam pack with the inventory. Okay, I've got to start plant planting some of these things. Take seeds out of these things. Stonks.
Some coffee going. Some patates. Sweet potato. You know, sweet potatoes do sound pretty good right now. You know, that's something I do miss having a little bit now that I'm thinking about more and more. That's some sweet potato weather. It's just, uh... Baked with brown sugar and stuff like that, or just having it straight up with butter and uh, butter with salt and pepper, stuff like that. Yum. All right, so that's a good little variety started. I want to expand this across the riverbed, though. Not riverbed, but across the riverside. Hopefully this will, in the long run, settle the issue of having food supply. Okay, today is almost over. gravel here to let me know that there's gravel here. Still pick up. Because every single time I'll be looking at that gravel, I'll be wondering, why did I leave two gravel blocks standing up like that? And then I'll remember, wait, I got gravel to still dig up. So it's a physical way of note-taking, so that would, uh, I don't forget things every time I go around. Okay, one more steam. Tea leaf. You know, I can actually go for some tea right now. No, it's now I've come across some teas here. Cauliflower. And got some berries here. Not worry about the cotton yet. Okay, I gotta head back now. I have to head back now. It's about to be nighttime. I want to head over there because that there has the bigger as the chest. I've established like two home points. I know in the last episode I mentioned that I was going to uh they collect a small home out of the uh, sacred tree there. Not yet, though. I need to get the food business settled down before I start building a more expansible home. Think of like a tree house in the uh, branches there.
Well, I'm gonna have some dragoon fruit. I'll get some dragon breath. Also, I know something too as well. I'm able to craft myself a bed. What does it take to make car? Ah, yes! And we got three wool. wool. But I need to make myself a hammer, don't I? Or mallet. Soft mallet. Okay, so I barely have enough to make some fences. Or not at all. I really do not feel like spending a whole not I don't really don't feel like spending another night out here waiting for night cycle and so I'm just gonna risk the biscuit here. Alright. Okay, and second thought, beds are more expensive. Alright, enter into Danger World again. a close eye on the entity radar see if there's any hostile mobs near me that's six so I caught a zombie's attention Sick, it's my cell phone going off there. Don't know the number. If I don't know the number, I will not answer it. Oh, shape, shaped crafting. Oh, and it's only for one. <laughs> and it's only for one piece of carpet. Yeah, typically in vanilla Minecraft beds are so much easier to make than this, but... Nope. Not in this case. Alright, 
I may have not gotten much saturation out of that, but at least I got a fair amount of hunger. Yeah, I'm just going to have to wait this night out for y'all, so I'll see y'all when it's daytime. Alright, rise and shine, good morning. It's another Minecraft day. There's a bat flying around. There's a fresh drag of fruit up there, fully ripe for a good picking, and some other fruit up there. More fruit. Not to mention that... Still got a garden to plant. In the process of that, I'll be going to watch out for any sheep. This wool, right now, is precious. There's a lot of cows around. Just looking at the radar. In general, I'll try to avoid taking out animals, but with this mod pack the way it's balanced with its food, I kind of have a little choice but to do that. Get these seeds planted down. Zucchini. You know, zucchini bread does sound good right now. I gotta learn how to start baking. Oh, I'm just the other things I'm forgetting to grab. Wheat and barley are the two things I'm forgetting to grab here. Some blueberry bushes. And I got the blackberry seeds. I wonder what the wild dogs for. It's probably a bombs plenty thing. Yep, bombs are plenty. Pineapple. There's some pineapple. Curry leaves. Kiwis. Okay, how do I make pumpkin seeds out of this? Speaking of pumpkin seeds, I'm forgetting pumpkin myself. I did find or a piece of pumpkin while I was going around exploring for food. Okay, so I need the soft mallets for those. I mean, that'll make the juice, but... Cow? 
I swear to goodness, if you start messing up the garden. Like what's doing right now. Yeah, hopefully this little uh, dig out here will minimize the amount of animals just walking over just to fall and hit the plant. These things take time to grow and I don't need that growth time being interrupted. Speaking of which, I'm just realizing that the way that this whole thing is designed to as well, that I'm at risk of doing that myself. Some acacia wood. Again, I'm going to slap down the gravel pillar here as the reminder for gravel. I think I've seen some mature plants already. No, it's not. Sort of looked like it, though. Alright, so that's a start. We've got about a third of the day left. We're going to head over to the sheep and deal with them. We'll be eventually building up a bridge over this river so that we have easy access going to and from without having to swim. I could probably get away with just building a boat. I don't know that for sure yet because I haven't checked if there's any changes of recipe for that. Probably is. Yeah, I want to be able to make the make make the bed before the end of this episode. Unfortunately, a lot of sheep are going to have to die in the process. I ain't got the means of making shears yet, and I'm more concerned about the food situation than the one I'm minding right now. Four sheep over there. Persimmons. That looks like persimmons. You know, persimmons in real life are actually pretty good. Like, they're pretty sweet themselves. There's some gooseberry. Some muttons. I hate the idea of catching mobs on fire, but gotta somehow make do to get food efficiently. Oh, that was a blast. Alright, 
Hopefully just one more sheep. Hopefully one more sheep. Just one more sheep. The heck? What the heck's that? I just took down a sheep and now it pops a blue flying slime ball. Well, regardless of what's going on, I better be back in a dash. Because nighttime is creeping up here. I wanted to grab get more of those blueberries, but nope, 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 not in these circumstances. I can serve hunger, so I have to stop sprinting, which means I'll be barely making it. No. Now you know why I want to follow this. Yeah. It's a little tricky to navigate and block areas that are completely dark. But now that I've got a piece of wool, though. Let's get itching and going to bed. So it's two fences, three of that. Think the planks are included. Yes. All right. And I can just bypass the night. Wow. Generation two for three minutes, two and a half minutes. And that's just me sleeping alone. That's pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and, and turn one of these oak saplings into gooseberry saplings. After all, you reap what you sow. Oh, now it's registering pigs. Alright. I may have jumped a gun with the wall there, but oh well. So there's that. Got five pieces of carrots on me right now. Do a similar thing with pomegranate. I would want to grab some saplings off of this dragon fruit tree, but uh, I don't want to uh, risk destroying the uh, tree. Special concern, it's the only source of dragon fruit for the moment, other than a tree up in the hill. Meantime, those plums are looking ready to be ripe for a good picking.
Oh, what's this? A date? I'm going to have to find a good source of jungle saplings. Other than these trees here, because I don't want... I want to be able to expand on the variety. And we'll be further expanding the garden. This is pretty much resolving the food situation. Like, it's giving me the wide variety I'm needing to make sure that the diminishing returns doesn't eat away the food value too much. I don't like the fact I'm having to use a sword to deal with this. some acacia wood. Oh, I'm going to eat some uh, carrots. That's two there. Here's the musical fruit. Well, anyways, I'm starting to make progress in getting the food supply going, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode off of here. This, I realize this is getting ready to be another 30 minute episode, so. Once again, I wish y'all well, and, uh, y'all take care.